Hey guys, on to lick number three. So here we have a super fast quintuplet pentatonic lick or descending quintuplet pentatonic lick. Um, so I'm gonna do it full speed first so you can hear how it sounds on its own. Then we're gonna break it down. I'm gonna talk right hand technique, left hand technique, all of that stuff. So full speed, roughly, is like this. So we go, starts right on beat number one. It goes one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so as you can see, it flies by quite quickly. So if I play it really, really slowly, so this is gonna be weird, this one, because if you're not used to playing quintuplets, it basically means grouping your notes into groups of five. So we're used to either doing sort of like fours and sixes, you know, sextuplets, or just playing, you know, 16th notes or eighth notes, so that's kind of grouping it in fours. Whereas this, it, it feels a bit awkward when you play it quite slow, um, as you'll see in a second when I slow it down. But again, it's one of those things you just have to kind of, it, because it feels a little bit out of time at first, you have to just sort of go with it and just continue to work on it. And then the faster you play it, it sounds crazy, but when you play it faster, it actually is a little bit easier. Um, so to really talk about what's happening in the phrase, so we're starting at the very top note of E minor pentatonic, position one again, so 15th fret. And what we have is we, we're grouping them in five. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, and then we start, again, that exact same pattern on the 15th fret of B, so. Okay, and then same thing on the, on the 14th fret of G. Okay, same thing on the 14th fret of D. And then what we do, uh, so we go. Cool, and then when we get to that 15th fret of E, we just play an open E string. So if I do that slowly, it goes, sorry. Ah. Cool, so, you know, slow down, playing it at that sort of speed, it's not too bad, but it's, it's the, the right hand technique is what's gonna help you kind of get it a bit quicker. So I use economy picking here. So that basically means to do two of kind of, or, or a number of the same direction of stroke in a row. Okay, so the way I do it, so I'll go pull off, well pick the first note and then pull off, and then pick, up, up. Okay, so that was down, up, up. So, it just allows you to move across the, st the strings a little bit quicker. Um, so it, again, that pattern just carries through for the whole thing. So, so once more, that'll be pick, pull off, sorry, down, pull off, down, up, up. Okay, so it's worth just practicing that, that kind of fragment on its own, you know, with a metronome, and then you can see how it, you know, how really what goes into that technique. So what I'm gonna do now is slow these quintuplets right down, play it along to the drum machine so you can hear where they sit on the beat because it is a little bit awkward. All right, so. So, it should sound something like this at a slow speed, so. Okay, so one more time. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, 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 one. So it's really squeezing up those five notes in. It's an awkward, it's an awkward number to fit in those beats. So it takes a little bit of perseverance. So once more it will go. Cool. Um, I would recommend you know starting really slowly with that, as I said, because you want to develop the technique. So I know I said they are easier to play fast. But if you jump straight in on the, on the you know, super fast end, you're gonna kind of develop kind of sloppy technique on that. So you wanna make sure you can do that economy picking slowly. And then gradually, you know, five BPM increments up to the target tempo. Cool, so that concludes lick number three. I'll see you in the next video.